The Australian Poetry Slam is a national program for writers who perform. When I was young, I really wanted to be a doctor, but my parents insisted that I be a spoken word poet. Sometimes the numbers don't add up, and sometimes you get stuck, and sometimes, like maths, you give up. But if you find someone who's, like, really special, you can check back over your working, because maybe back there there'll be an inequality that was a fraction improper, a factor on other negative terms adding up to equal unhappiness. I work in a restaurant that serves exclusively large hunks of animal, as, as a dishy. But if you find a mistake and fix it, when all the working's done, you won't need a 1999 Casio calculator to tell you that you found the one. Well, I'm a writer and a, a, a novelist, and uh, I'm a heartbreaker. They're moving in now for the race for the 21st century. Red light flashing now over at the 2500 metre start mark. Racing now in the first to show on the inside. Utopia, out of godly intervention, mystical ideas and human ideology got off to an absolute flyer. As do the advancement and technology out of Seattle, Washington, sponsored by Starbucks Coffee. Caffeine constantly percolating through the veins and owned and trained by Mr Bill Gates running on... You know, I think it's, um, it's something that, you know, everybody should be proud of and uh, it's the largest poetry slam apparently in the southern hemisphere I'd, I'd say it's pretty close to one of the largest poetry slams in the world a -B -B -A -A -B -B -A. the fact that people go out there and express their souls and say you know what this is what i feel this is how i feel as a human being this is what i want to share with the world you can't define oneself that's why i write i write not to fight but to love I write not to fight, but to love. It's beautiful the fact that, you know, a brown dude can go, the son of an immigrant can go in that open opera house. I have no words, I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs>